What is up guys, it's your boy Gage, I'm going to bring you guys an awesome high school stories for you guys today. Yes, I didn't do my hair today, leave me alone, I don't give a damn girl that acts though. Alright guys, I am so freaking weird and, uh, whoa, falling for you Macklemore. Alright guys, seriously, let's get back to the real, real stuff here. I just want to say thank you for watching my videos and all the support. Now we're going back to a, guess what? A, oh, oh Zeus and Simon went a hater video. Yay! <gasps> movie? Yeah, so a uh, hater movie? Yeah? No? Well, I love you? I want drink? No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Susan, I'm s what? I'm totally got in my head for a minute. I'm just being weird as heck. Anyways, moving on. Finally, jumping to the story. This is a really haters video, though. So, um, beginning of senior year. Oh yes, after my truck gets destroyed by a bunch of haters, now it's time for me to personally get in destroyed by haters mentally and physically. No, seriously though, this is about a fight, you know. And uh, I, I, I don't think I've talked about it once before. I think it might have been on my old YouTube channel. Um, I don't know where it was about me getting into a small little kind of slap each other fight in middle school and you know I got kicked out he stayed and I went to this bad kid school I stayed there until freshman year and then I grew up bloody blah short story it's a um, long story of all that stuff I'm getting super not super detailed but I can get more detail later in a different time period but in this episode we're talking about a certain fight and so this is the real first almost real fight I almost had and this kid was a you know this kid was a uh, just to describe him he was kind of I'm not gonna say any names or anything, but he was my. He's about. He's a, a little bit taller than me, but he was kind of buffer and stuff. He knew how to fight. I've. Uh, he was like. I heard he was a boxer, but I'm not sure. But a bunch of kids said he was, and he just looks like he knows how to fight because he was kind of like. He hangs out with the thugs and ki bad, like not the bad kids, but like those thug kids, and the group that always like grabs their shit. You know, those gangsters and stuff like that. You know, and uh, uh, just like I want to say wanksters, but I don't know their personal lives. But at school, they totally act like wanksters. They just think they're gangsters, but they are at all I mean they're cool kids I mean I know two two of them that was inside this little posse and they're cool the other like sometimes like they just act like they're top dog I mean I have my bad moments too that's probably why I almost got my ass beat by this group of kids but uh we'll talk about it in a second but um you know I guess we all see each other when we all have our ups and downs or whatever so anyways moving on first try of senior year you know and I well you I made an episode about how my average day at high school is is where I run around and hug everyone you know I told you guys about that well Starting off, and this one day, it was a Thursday, um, I decided to go and hug two of my little friends. Um, these girls are absolute cuties. Oh, uh, God, I'll, 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 I can't say their names, but we'll call them Cass and Ange. Because that's the f that's, that's, uh, because that's what I can, because I can call them that, because that's what's up. Anyway, so I call them... I'm gonna call them that, but anyways, I run up to these girls and I hug them, and, I, and they're sitting down eating their food, and I like hugged a bunch of girls, but I come over and I hug them, and this whole group of kids that I was just talking about, you know, maybe like good ten pe ten kids are sitting next in that next table, and I hug these girls, I'm like, hey, and I walk by, and, and this kid has his back, you know, he's sitting down eating or whatever, and he's at his table, and I'm walking past him, and he says, faggot, and I keep walking, I'm like, Psh, and I like, I just like grab his like grab his uh, hoodie, and I'm like, and I, all I did was like, I was like. Psh, and that's all. I just messed with him. I'm like, just come, come down, kid. You know, you love me, whatever. And he's like, no, you're a fucking faggot. Just fucking, don't fucking touch me. Hit my hand away. And he just started laughing with his friends or whatever. And I'm like, fucking grow up. And he's like, grow up. And I just kept walking. And he kept saying shit. I'm walking away. And it pissed me off. And I made the stupid move to do something, guys. The finger. <laughs> I flipped him off, and that was a stupid mistake. I thought we were, like, not, I wasn't, if I realized I would have almost got my ass beat at that moment, I would have totally not done anything, but I was kind of messing around, but kind of serious kind of thing, but I just thought, thought we were just going to do this, like, mean to each other thing. In my head, I was like, if we just do this real quick, it'll be over, and it's just going to be the end of that by the end of the day, but, or by the end of even lunch, so this is all at lunch, by the way. So finally, go back to my group of kids, uh, well, used to be my whole clique. You know, it's funny how you start out, your year and you have this whole big old clique of people and then one by the end of the year everyone hates each other because someone slept with this ex-girlfriend everyone messed with this girl and this person like this person but you got with her and you went behind this person back and you broke this broke code and this and that and then there goes your clique and everyone hates each other anyways guys so finally I'm, I'm hanging out with all these my friends or whatever and 
I'm talking to him and stuff, and uh, and this kid gets up with four of his little friends, and he walks over there, and I stand up, and my friend stands up next to me, and he's like, because like they seen the whole thing too, and they're like, what went on? And I was telling them before, and the kids were walking over, I'm like, damn, they're coming over, and I look over there, and they're getting close, so I was like, I turn back around, my my friend gets up, I sit to his seat, he's like, you want to say that to my fucking face again? And I'm like, well, I'm sorry to swear about the, like swear like this in this video, guys, if you would not wait to hear about this, it's like more of a mature audience video. You can go ahead and. Leave. I just have to tell the story because it's kind of important. Um, not just to, it's there's a good point to it in the end, you know. And so he gets up to my face. He's like, "You want to fuck say that again?" I'm like, "Dude, just calm down. We're we're good." And so I go like this, and like like I do all my friends, I handshake all my friends or go like this with every every time I see a friend at all. Like even if a friend's walking by, I'll be like, "Hey." If he walks back again, I'm like, "Oh, hey, hey, can't walk past me without doing it." Yeah, love you, broski. So I go like this, and he's like, "I don't touch faggots' hands." And walks away with his friends, and they just start laughing. I'm like. You, what you don't you don't love me and I just I throw the biggest scene I'm like you don't love me and he's like queer and just yelling these things I'm like you don't love me you just hate me because I'm gay you hate me like I'm gay and I'm like I'm really like just make I'm making the biggest scene right now I'm just making it all funny my friends are laughing their ass off I'm like screw you guys you just hate me because I'm gay and I kept repeating it and I'm like screaming it and half the lunchroom's looking at me and the, some of these people were like thinking it's so serious because I was like uh, okay, let's see if I can do it without smiling I'm like you hate me because I'm gay you you hate me like, like that perfect ooh, that was perfect right there but I had that perfect face and this this kid is just what the fuck laughing with his friends too but like what the fuck queer like that, that kind of laughing but everyone else is like so serious and like my friends were kind of laughing or whatever they didn't really understand what was going on like what is he doing kind of laugh or whatever but once we left uh, I, was, I started like right when we got out of the lunchroom and I was like oh my god and all my friends like what, dude what the was that and everyone just starts laughing and we started walking on the stairs and we get in the and, and uh, whatever, and so, oh, big part before I, I can't believe I told Mrs. Part, Zzz, rewind real quick, and so what we're sitting, uh, when he walks over there, and, we, and I try to, when I try to uh, shake his hand or whatever, and he's like, oh, I don't touch faggot's hand, he walks away, and he said, I'm a beat, but when he walked away, he said, I'm a beat your ass after school, and that's when he started laughing with his friends and walking away, so I missed that important part, so I'm like, damn, you know, I was just messing around with him or whatever, and then finally, it was almost the end of lunchtime, 10 minutes before the end of lunch, we all, there's this big group spot where all the kids hang out, you know your high school where everyone hangs out in that one area, so finally everyone was there, and finally I'm talking to, you know, I'm, I'm back and I'm there too with my little group, and there's a bunch of little groups everywhere, and their group's on the other side of like the jocks or whatever, because there's always the jocks right there in the middle, and they're over there, and they kept looking at me, and they kept joking and kept pointing at me, and I'm talking to my friends, trying to ignore them or whatever, and I see him and just his friend walk over to me, and they're like, and I like, I act like I don't see him, but of course I see him. I was waiting for him to get a little bit closer for me to like run. I don't know what I was gonna do, but I was just waiting to see if they're 100% serious, you know. And they were getting, they were starting to get close, but his friend grabbed him. He's like, no, no, and started pulling him away. And I walk up to him like, hey, hey, and I hit tap his shoulder. The kid that wanted to beat me up, and I'm like, come on, beat me up, beat me up. And he's like, oh, I'll give you something to beat up. And he's like, grabs his junk, and I, you know what I do, guys? I get down on my hands and knees, hands and knees. I'm like, pull it out, come on, I'm ready. I'm ready, and I'm in front of the jocks, guys. In front of the jocks, my friends, the the kids, a bunch of other kids that are walking through the halls, and I'm just like, come on. And then he's like, fucking fag, and he pushed me a little bit. Like, he pushed me when I was on my hands and knees, and I get back up, and I start, like, you know, on my hands and knees, crawling to him. I'm like, no, come on, I'm here. Come on, give it to me. And just saying all these things, like, freaking him out, and he's just like, what? And just laughing with his friends, and walks up with his friends, and I go back to my friends, like, what? My, I'm just laughing my friends whatever. We go away and he goes his little way opposite directions because the bell rings or whatever. Finally, the moment of truth. It's the end of school. <laughs> oh, gotta love this part. So we finally go out and it's the end of school or whatever. And I go out and I go out and I text and it was that you know we had a fourth and fifth hour still. So I text everyone during fourth and fifth hour because I'm starting to get like okay, this is starting to get real. Like this is some legit scary stuff. I don't, I don't know what to do, guys. So. <laughs> I start texting everyone in my phone, everyone that went to my school, every number I had, the people I didn't really talk to on a daily basis. I wrote, I'm like, dude, this kid's trying to be my ass, please be out there and like protect me or something. And just if anything goes down, just pull him off of me or whatever. I'm not going to hit him, I promise. I just want to make friends with him. Like I said, this whole message. You know, and I'm not, surprising, the message didn't get to him. Thank God I don't have any friends that are friends with him or their friends or whatever. So finally, I, I, when I open the doors, and I go out, you know, I go out the same way, it's the uh, same way to my truck every day. And as he, when he, when he said it, he'll meet after school, I'm, I seen him out there before, so I knew he was going to be out there too, because I think he rides the bus or whatever, and to get to my truck, I have to pass the buses. 
So I'm going, I'm like, all right, and I have a bunch of, and I, like, I get out of my fifth hour, and I'm like, oh, God, I'm going to get my ass beat. And a couple of my friends are already following me, and he's like, hey, I'll meet you out there. And I'm walking alone, I'm looking everywhere, I'm freaking out. And a bunch of my friends were sitting there in the corner, like, or downstairs, like they normally do every day. And they run up to me, like, dude, are you ready? Are you ready to beat his ass? I'm like, I told you guys, I'm not going to beat his ass. I'm going to try to make friends, guys. Don't even say that right now, okay? And I'm freaking out, and everyone's like, come on, get his ass. I'm like, stop it. Stop touching me. And everyone's kind of getting like, like, dude, calm down. It's okay. And I'm like, no, it's not fucking okay. I'm about to get my ass beat. I'm freaking out, you know? And now this is the craziest thing I've ever seen. I push open the door and I look around and every, like everyone I text, plus more people I, that I know have cars or go the opposite way or go out the other doors or anything that I just know go like other places was out there by the buses where they never ever go because they knew about the whole fight thing. The word spread like this, guys. The word spreads about fights in high schools like this. Fight someone. Try it. Okay, don't fight someone. But if you ever hear about a fight, I promise you, the school is just going to... Because news travels like this in high school. Oh, did you hear about W? She slept with this guy. <whistles> whole sky knows. The whole sky, the whole school knows. It's just like that, guys. It really is. So I get out there and I'm looking at and my friends or whatever. And a couple people are like, are you going to fight him? Are you fight him? And I'm just ignoring people. I'm looking around and I see him and two of his friends walk over to me. And I'm like, fuck, here we go. And he walks over to me and he's like all thug and stuff. And he walks up to me and I'm just standing here with my friends. And he goes... I just let you fucking know, kid. I can't beat your ass today. I'm gonna do it to my fucking court right now. And I'm like, and he's talking to his friends or whatever. And I'm like, because he was talking to me, and he's just like, yeah, fucking suck. I'd beat this kid's ass too if I could, you know? Because his friends like, ooh, tomorrow though, tomorrow though. And he's like, oh, I'd beat this kid's ass right now if I could. And I'm like, why would you tell me at lunch that you'll beat my ass after school, and now tell me that you'll beat my ass tomorrow? You would have known if you had Corey. He's like, I just found out just last hour. My probation officer told me, and I'm like. Your probation officer is not even the one that tells you that. The counselors will call you down and then they'll tell you or something. What? You little liar. And they don't tell you a day before or the day of that you have court. They'll tell you at least a week's notice. I mean, we all know the freaking law here. I mean, it might have been possible. I don't know. Okay, let's just say I don't know the law like that. But I do know that's just that was a lie from him. I just knew that was a lie. And I was like, dude, come on. Why don't we just be friends or whatever? Just call it good. And then he's like, no, I'll beat your ass tomorrow. And then he like walks away with his friends and he starts talking to some other group of kids, like not the ones they were with in the lunchroom, but he just starts talking to his kids. I'm like, guys, you see this? He's going to beat my ass tomorrow. And everyone starts talking and everyone starts looking around and everyone's like, oh, you know, looking around or whatever. And like, everyone's like, we're going to beat our mom. I'm like, no, we're not going to do this. So I walk over them and I, his friends turn around and he had his back towards me, but I walk up to him and I, I grab his shoulder and I turn him around and I was just like, wham, just kidding. I'm just kidding, guys. You guys are like, what? Someone horny gauges someone? No, no, no. I just had to see what you guys would like. Facial expressions are like, still, I know. Close it because it didn't really happen. So I, I really, I grabbed his shoulder. I twist him around. I'm like, dude, come on. We're not going to fight right now. I mean, not tonight, not ever. I'm not going to fight. If you want to beat my ass, I'll leave school grounds right now. And you can go beat my ass behind the church. How about that? And then we'll just call it good. He's like, no, I'm going to beat your ass tomorrow. That way I can't, I can't get in trouble tonight. Anyways, I'm like, come on. We're not going to fucking sit here and wait for you to beat my ass. I'm not going to do this. You're going to beat my ass now or never. He's like, oh, what are you going to do? Beat my ass tomorrow? I'm like, no, I won't. But you see these guys around me? You see this whole group of friends behind me? If you touch me, one of these guys, all they're going to do is pull your ass off me and I'm going to tell on you. And that's how it is and stuff. And we're sitting here going back and forth, just like a little bit of, I don't want to get into too detailed, but we're going back and forth. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm done. You know, I, you know what? You want to know your true talent? Your true talent, look, you can fight. I hear you can fight. You beat my ass. You want to know something else? I can dance. And I start jerking right here in a circle. I'm jerking around. I'm like, look, look, I can dance. Well, let's show off our true talents now. You Just because you beat my ass doesn't mean make you better than me. And I start giving this whole awesome speech. Like, it's coming to my mind, but I feel like I'm Martin Luther King right now. I'm, like, giving the goddamn greatest speech ever. And I'm like, you blah, blah, blah. You don't have to fight. You just think you're a fucking top dog or whatever because you got friends or whatever. We all know once you beat my ass, you're going to get the one in trouble because I know you're on probation. I know from these friends over here that they were talking about earlier. So once you're on probation, you beat my ass. Everyone already knows what's going to happen tomorrow. You're going to beat my ass. You're, gonna, you're on probation. You're going to get more or more trouble with your probation officer. You're going to be on locker. You're really going to be that dumb and do that? What the f is there wrong with you? I'm not on probation. I haven't gotten in trouble in high school my whole life. What am I going to get? Oh, I got beat up, and it's on cameras too that you came up to me and beat my ass. Because I know for a goddamn fact, once you hit me, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna put my arms behind my back and I'm gonna let you beat my ass. Because I'm not gonna fight back. When it comes to stuff like this, I will not fight back. And even online, in most situations in my life, I do not fight back because I let it pass and I just let it do its own thing. Because I know who I am and I know what I want and who I need and what I plan for my future. I don't need to prove myself to anybody, and I know that for a goddamn fact. So I'm sitting here giving the speech, and finally. 
finally he starts walking and then he's like getting all mad and he tries to come up and he just tries to get up in my face and tries to hit me and my friend uh, we'll call him Mitch and he comes up and he grabs his arm like he came up to hit and he puts it pushes his arm back and then when he came up to hit my friend again one of my friends went over and grabbed him because I guess he was kind of both our friends or whatever grabs him and pulls him back and starts flipping the other way I'm like yeah see told you just leave me alone we're done we're not gonna fight anymore and he's sitting there trying to fight like come at me or whatever and my friends push him away I'm like I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna fight you I'm not gonna fight you I'm done I'm done I start screaming on top of my lungs I'm done and I was just screaming it I turn around the principal right behind me he goes. Everyone around me is looking at me and they're like, shit. Pulls me over, he's like, and this is what he said, and you know it's funny? Because I'm close with the, per the principal and we're friends and stuff like that. And he goes, so why are you and Mr. Uh, and he said his last name, trying to fight here? And I'm like, ah. We just kind of got argument. I told him the truth. I told him the whole 100% truth. I told him about the hallway even. I told him that I flipped him off and everything. And I was like, I let him on, I'm sorry. And he's like, no, 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 no. You know what, you're fine. I've seen him do this with a kid just last week. And da-da-da, me and him fairly know each other. And trust me, I'm like, have a little talk with this probation officer and we'll just call it this. If he ever gets you trouble again, be sure to call or be sure to come to my office and talk to me. I'm like, and he hits my shoulder. He's like, you're going to be all right. And that's what he said, you're going to be all right. Nicest principal ever. Hits my shoulder and walks away. I'm like, and everyone runs up to me once he walks away. What happened? Are you in trouble this and that? And I'm like, I just smile. I'm like, I'm gonna go home guys like what happened? I'm just like guys. I just want to go and they I think they thought that that moment They thought I was all upset because I got in big trouble, but honestly I didn't get in any kind of trouble I was just like see you guys I gotta go and so I was like, you know I went home I actually told them like everything the next day or I text a couple people that night even I was like guys I'm fine. We just everything's cool. Everything's cool That's what I told everyone and not even a lot of people know the story to this day uh, What really happened with me in principal, but now you guys know and that's really what he said and now after that, I haven't even seen the kid. I think he got kicked out of our school now. The kid that was trying to fight me, I haven't talked to him at all. And nobody knows um, uh, him and, like, really knows him, really. A lot of people that do know him or know he's a fighter and gets mad about a lot of stuff. And like I said, I haven't, I haven't even seen him at all this last trimester. And I've seen a couple of his friends, and none of his friends even look at me anymore. Nothing. It just went back to normal after, like, the last... Like, it, he kind of glared me down. A couple of times after that, but he never even had trouble with him again. I think so. Me and him are cool, like on that level, like cool, or like you maybe not like me, but he just doesn't care about me anymore. He just kind of ignores me. So that's kind of level I like to be on everybody. I don't want anybody to hate me or destroy my truck or beat up my family or any anything or threaten my family or do anything. If you hate me, then you hate me. Just ignore it and walk away and just do it. That's the same. Not goes for me for everybody. Thank you guys for watching. It means a lot. And I shall catch you guys in the next episode. Be sure to drop a like. And how you guys feel about this whole situation, comment below. Thanks guys for being there. And support Team Horny. And guys, walk away. I promise it's worth it in the end.